Hello, hello there, friends. This is your Bad Couch Guru, Lynn Lindbergh, and it is a listener question mini-sode where we're going to talk about the weight room. So, got this question here from Kelly, and Kelly says, Hey, I'm looking for some advice on strength training routines, upper and lower body. I get so much anxiety from going to the weight side of the gym, and I always feel like I'm just jumping around different machines on lifting days. I feel like free weights for upper body, or excuse me, I like free weights for upper body, but I'm open to new things. Does anyone have some good routines they'd like to share? So Kelly, thank you. Thank you for that question. And I get it. Your anxiety around free weights Uh, You're right. It's really not a a space uh, that a lot of people feel comfortable in and and you're not alone at all. And you don't want to, you know, look like you don't know what you're doing. That just causes that anxiety. And um, I could easily say, you know, hey, don't let it bother you. Uh, But that's not a solution, even though, you know, that's an easy one that we would want to go. And And I'm sorry, I'm sorry that uh, a lot of times weight rooms, I mean, they were designed by men for men who want to be macho men, right? Remember that macho, macho man, like, (laughs) uh, that's really what it is. And so, you know, here we are 50, 60, 70 years later, and we are not aspiring to be macho men, and we're more focused on health and wellness, yet the gyms really haven't changed um, at all. So, um, uh, so you're exactly right. Knowing a routine could help you go in there and just, you know, boom, 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 do what you want to do. But let me propose this for you first. The weight machines, machines in weight rooms typically have instructions on them and tell you what to do. You probably already know that. And a lot of times, most gyms, they are already put in an order that are pretty, that's pretty good for exercising. So what I'd like you to do is to go to the weight machines and take a couple of days where you go in there and you say, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about a quote unquote workout today. I'm just going to go to one machine and really dial it in and figure out where do I want my seat? Where do I want, you know, the bar? How much weight do I want? And I'm going to just write it down and take notes and just spend some time dialing in these machines one after the other in order. So then once you know how much weight you need on a machine, once you know that this you know machine here, you put the seat to level four and you put the back to level two, Then once you've got that dialed in, then you can start going in with a plan and say, okay, I'm going to do this machine, this machine, and this machine today. And you've already got on your paper how to dial it in. And you can go in with so much more confidence and a whole lot less anxiety. Because remember, unless you are specifically training for a very specific performance goal, which is not most of us, most of us are just trying to stay healthy then any exercise you do is good. And when you work on just hitting all the muscles, you're going to be fine, you're going to be great. And the more comfortable you get with the equipment, the more easy it'll easier it will be for you. So that's where I would start do that. And then you'll find that those routines are less important than just consistently getting there and getting it done. And that is gonna feel good. All right. Thanks for your question, Kelly. Good luck to you. Let me know how it goes. Bye-bye now. Exercise should not be dreadful, but getting off the couch is the hardest exercise of all. Remember to head on over to our homepage at couch2active.com and see what's going on over there. Do give a great review on your podcast platform that will help spread the word of Couch2Active. Bye-bye now.